They say the best revenge is living well. I say it's acid in the face. Who will love them now? I'm going to get even. I swear I will. Mark my words, I'm a pregnant cranky woman with insomnia. I have time to plot my revenge. My former bullies pay extra to come backstage and meet me after shows, and I pretend not to know them in front of their friends. It is the most divine pleasure to exact the revenge of the brutalized child that resides within. Revenge is a confession of pain. But if there is any further injury, then you shall appoint as a penalty life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, bruise for bruise. Treat all fairly or they will seek revenge. Tis more noble to forgive and more manly to despise than to revenge an injury. I'm a fighter. I believe in the eye for an eye business. I'm no cheek turner. I got no respect for a man who won't hit back. You kill my dog, you better hide your cat. So revenge is obviously a deeply messed up expression of vindictiveness. It is hard to even call it evil. It is just plain insanity, a result of deeply messed up thinking. In taking revenge, a man is but even with his enemy, but in passing it over, he is superior. We should forgive our enemies, but not before they are hanged. God is a mean-spirited, pugnacious bully, bent on revenge against his children, for failing to live up to his impossible standards. It is impossible to suffer without making someone pay for it. Every complaint already contains revenge. If you spend your time hoping someone will suffer the consequences for what they did to your heart, then you're allowing them to hurt you a second time in your mind. Men should be either treated generously or destroyed because they take revenge for slight injuries, for heavy ones they cannot. The problem with revenge is that it never evens the score. It ties both the injured and the injurer to an escalator of pain. Both are stuck on the escalator as long as parity is demanded, and the escalator never stops. Stronger than lover's love is lover's hate, incurable in each the wounds they make. When a man steals your wife, there is no better revenge than to let him keep her. To exact revenge for yourself or your friends is not only a right, it's an absolute duty. Revenge is not a noble sentiment, but it is a human one. Funny thing about revenge, it could make a killer out of a nun. Revenge writing is a female genre. Men who have been left by women or made cuckolds by rivals either lick their wounds in humiliated silence or start the Trojan Wars. Having no other power or public voice, the betrayed woman reaches for her pen. I'm pretty Sicilian if I've been crossed. I don't seek revenge, but I never forget. And I make it hard to repair, which is not a great quality because if people held me to that standard, no one would be around me, ever. The best revenge to people who hurt you is show them you are happy and grateful after they're gone. Revenge is not worthy of you. If you concentrate on revenge, you will keep those wounds fresh that would otherwise have healed. For the longest time, I studied revenge to the exclusion of all else. I built my first torture chamber in the dark vaults of imagination. Lying on bloody sheets in the healing hall, I discovered doors within my mind that I'd not found before. Doors that even a child of nine knows should not be opened. Doors that never close again. I threw them wide. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. For the taking of revenge, a man locks himself up alone and thinks. His stomach must be empty for his head to be full. Vengeance comes a little from the heart and a lot from the mind. One must take oneself apart from the noise of men and of things, even from what resembles them. Only the voices of bells and of thunder are allowed. Let the room in which you meditate be dark, narrow, and warm. Serial killing is not about sex at all, 
but about power and control and revenge on society. At this hour, Lee at my mercy, all mine enemies.